Hello, welcome to my channel, Railani Creations. I'm Wendy, and today is November 1st, meaning Halloween is over and we're going to start seeing a lot of Christmas decorations. And me, myself, also can't wait to start making Christmas earrings. Over the next two months, I plan to make at least one Christmas theme earring per week, so stay tuned and check back often. To kick this holiday collection off, I want to start by showing you guys how to make this star earring. I will also be uploading another video for the Christmas trees. Uh, both of these earrings are super beginner friendly. Anybody can make. Let's take a closer look at the star. In the middle, I have 10 green beads uh, forming almost like a circle. And then there's five of these triangles. Each triangle, there are three beads. You can use any color you want and mix things up to make it more fun. In fact, for today's tutorial, I'll be mixing things up by using red and green in the middle and using yellow for the triangles. For the middle, you need a total of 10 beads, so I have 5 red and 5 green. And for the triangles, there's 5 triangles with 3 beads each, so you need a total of 15 yellow beads. The wire I have here is 14 inches long and I'm using 28 gauge. I am actually using this soft wire for this tutorial because it's more flexible and easier for me to demonstrate what I'm doing. Uh, but if you're making the earring, I would suggest using uh, half heart so that it's more sturdy. If you want to learn more about wires, check out my wires tutorial. Also, the crystals I have here are 4mm in size. Start off by adding the red and green beads to the wire, alternating by color. So again, we have 5 red and 5 green. Now you want to bring the beads towards one side so that one side of the wire is a lot longer than the other side. The reason for this is because we'll be using the longer wire to go around making the triangles. Now twist the two wires together slightly to lock the middle beads in. Now put both wires through the green bead to hide the twisted section. If you find it hard to pull the wires through, you can use a nylon plier or a chain nose plier to help pull it through like what I am doing here. Now that we have both wires through the green crystal, we're going to start adding the yellow crystals to the longer wire to start creating the triangles for the star. Now that we have three crystals here, we're going to take the wire, skip the red crystal, and put it through the green crystal. We will repeat this all the way around. Again, we add three crystals to the wire, skip the red crystal, and then put the wire through the green crystal. Here is a closer look. We skip the red and put it through the green. Repeat two more times and we'll meet at the last triangle. So we created all four triangles and this last triangle is the same. We add three yellow crystals, we skip the red, and then we go through the green. If you want to add a bead like this one in the middle, you can do that. To add the bead, you would just put the bead through the two wires and then you bring it over like this. My bead is 8mm and it fits perfectly in the middle. Um, so basically, once you pull the wire over uh, to this area, you would just start the next step here. But for my tutorial, I will continue without the bead. Starting from where we left off, first you will take the shorter wire and put it through one yellow bead. Now take the longer wire and put it through two yellow beads. Putting the shorter wire through one bead and the longer wire by two bead, now you have one wire on each side of this bead. And you can twist them together like this. You can use a nylon plier to hold onto the wire while you twist it. Now that we have twisted the wire, we can take a round nose plier and create a loop at the top. If you have questions about the tools I am using and how to create this loop, please check out my tools tutorial. 
Now cut off any extra wire and then use a chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you'll be trying these earrings out. I'll see you next time. Bye.